What is a mousetrap racer? Well, it's some type of vehicle that has to be powered by a mousetrap. Here's an example. The wheels, the less friction they have, the better off you are. So here I use CDs. What it is, the mousetrap is uh, extended down. There's a string, usually a tied around that arm. And then I'll wind the back string around the back axle so then the spring will be tight. And when I release the spring, it will take the line off the back axle and turn these wheels and propel the mousetrap down the road. You can use anything you want for the frame, for axles. You can see here I just used a 1 8 inch welding rod actually, some CDs as uh, my wheels, and just um, some heavy duty like plastic for my frame. have some frame supports here, and underneath you can see my axles are turning in a straw, and on the back here I'll, how I supported those as well. The key with the mousetrap car it has to move uh, freely, and um, it has to have some type of arm with a string that will wrap around that back axle and pull it and then after it comes off it will continue to go down the road surface and you can either build a mouse trap for distance or for speed now you can see I have my mouse trap racer loaded the spring is pulled back the arm and you can see the wires wrapped around that back axle now we'll take it out in the hallway and give it a go just going to leave it go, and there it goes. Spring's releasing, and you'll see once it releases, then it will continue to roll. And that's a pretty successful mousetrap car, about 40, 45, 50 feet. Now hopefully your mousetrap racer is different than mine. All you'll need is a mousetrap, something to extend that arm. That arm does not need to be longer than your trap. I'll supply you the frame if you'd like, but you can use something different as a frame. You need something for wheels that has limited friction. I will supply the inner tires um, and um, I will supply you some uh, 1 8 inch dowel rods if you want to use those and straws of course for your axles but if you can come up with something better that's great your car does not have to look like mine and hopefully it's something a little bit different good luck